Hello ladies and gentlemen, geeks of all ages, how are you guys today? This is your friend Mario Cusa Kevin bringing you another episode of Comics Con Sabor. Yeah buddy, how you guys are doing today? Hope you guys are well. Um, good morning. Yes, good morning. <laughs> I'm trying something different, so let's see how it works in the morning time, like early in the morning time. Yes, I know. I'm cooking to this thing. So anyway, how you doing, guys? You guys doing okay? That's awesome. Phenomenal to hear. Today's episode of Comics Con Sabor is a very emotional, driven episode. Uh, for those of you that know, well, everybody knows the big gun heroes from. Both Marvel, this, uh, uh, DC Comics. You see, that's what happens when you do this at like a five something in the morning. <sighs> so yes, um, you know you guys know Superman, um, Shazam, Flash, Wonder Woman, um, Captain Adam, all those characters on um, Thor, Iron Man, and the list goes on. Doctor Strange, Black Panther, Captain America. Was soldier um, the list goes on and on and on now I want to talk to you about especially this one issue um, issue 126 of to me it is the best as much as I'm a Superman fan I will have to say one of the best or currently I think one of the best superhero books out there, um, invincible. I should get us a comic con uh, a few years ago. Uh, issue 126, of course, everybody knows that Invincible was written, another creation of um, Robert Kirkman. And um, now the artist, I think, is Mr. Ryan Otelel, if I'm not mistaken, is the last name. Uh, yeah, it's in the morning, guys, sorry. <laughs> Holy crap! Let me give you a quick glimpse of Cap of Invincible. Invincible is um the son, the older son of um Omni Man, which he is from um oh my god from the from the planet Virtual, and um, they have more or less Superman like powers. Super fly, super strength, um, indestructibility. They could be out of space. Um, I haven't seen no no vision powers, but everything else more than super speed. From super. So anyway, um, I've been really invincible since the nineties, and it is one of the best books, especially now. I think it's all the emotion that um, it, it, it has, all the passion. And I have to give this credit to Mr. Robert Kirkman. Uh, so much passion through all these books. It's just crazy. It, and the amount of realism that he has employed for to write for these books is just phenomenal. Um, and issue 126. Of course, I think it's issue 129, 128 or 120, 120, 127 is the name of the song. But I want to talk about issue 126. This is one of those points against an invisible life. You see the, what drives, what he goes through. It's, it's very strong. It's like, I'm going to give you a quick recap, recap of what has happened until this episode. Um, in Alien Race, comes and tells Invincible that um, you know, some people have died, they shouldn't have not died because of the acts that you have done, or you have been good, but some people shouldn't have survived. So they take him unwillingly, and he goes through different times, um, and saves different people. I'm like, okay, so he comes back, and he's telling his, his girlfriend, his wife, Atomic Eve, um, Oh, you know, I'm back. I'm sorry I left like that before. I apologize. And 
It's like, oh yeah, I just want to see Tara. Tara is their daughter. The last time he saw Tara, Tara was a baby. Like, a baby. Now he hears a little voice. Turns around and looks, and Tara is like, I would say, maybe seven, eight years of age. And you just see the tears fall out of Invincible. It's just crazy. And I'm like, holy crap. It's like, for, he was doing something, he was doing like too deep, you know, saving people's lives through different time ages, time periods of him being a hero. Different events that happened in his life. And when he comes back, you no, know, like I thought I'm like, okay though, so they're gonna put him back like like say like a day after he left. But it's actually years. Now he hasn't seen his his family, his wife. So now like I'm just gonna give you guys leave you guys with a suspense like what's going on with Atomic Eve? Is she single? Is she dating someone else? It's so crazy. It's so emotional. And through the course of a hundred plus issues of Invincible, it's been like that. Um, of course, you, you have the great action, uh, insane battles, but it is so emotionally driven that I truly, that's one of the reasons why I truly love Invincible. He's one of the best, I think, or the current best superhero ever. Everybody talks about Spider-Man has suffered, a lot. oh, you know, you whatever, whatever. No, when die all these other things um how oh, robins are always suffering from bad man and jason todd uh drake wall tinder hasn't suffered that much <laughs> but all the other robins and but invincible has really gone through a lot of struggles i mean a lot and yes yes and this book keeps on going and going it's just insane how, how awesome this book is. And I'm really famous for Robert Peckman for keep doing this book. Because I, I really don't want to see it in. Like when Invisible 100 showed up, I was like, oh my god. I, I was a little worried. Because um, there were a lot of things hinting that one of the main characters was going to perish. So I thought it was either going to be Atomic Eve, girlfriend, mother of his child. Or invincible. I thought it was going to be one of them too. And when I saw issue 100, I was like, "Oh, you mom!" Oh, it was just, "Oh my god!" So I'm glad the result is still alive. But yeah, it's it's very, very much an improvement. You guys will not truly be disappointed. It's one heck of a book. It's an awesome book. It's phenomenal. Um, you guys can still, I would say, purchase the books, except for like issue one. Well, you could, you know, you guys could still purchase issue one if you guys want. It's still affordable. But when the movie comes out, and I'm really hoping it comes out, I'm really hoping it comes out. Because it's, it's one of the best books, or to me, it's the best book that Image has. Yes. It's the best look the image has. As I'm already bored of, of you know, certain another book. Yeah, I'm I'm bored. Yeah, I'm like, ugh, I'm I'm done with it. So yes, especially after reading Zombie Tramp. <laughs> yeah, I'm done with that. But yeah, it's over. Yeah, um, please give Invisible a shot. You guys will not regret it. You guys will enjoy it, have fun, you know, and, and in some ways learn from from this character and the drive and the passion that he has. Mr. Kirkman created a masterpiece with this. It's an awesome character to create. And I thank you for that, Mr. Kirkman. Um, so yeah, guys, this is episode 14 of Inner City, of Inner City Geeks. Well, Inner City Geeks will show you this episode. They will. Um, so yeah, you can watch um, episode 14. Thanks again for the love for the support at InnerCityGeeks.com. Um, you can also watch it on my YouTube page, 
um, it will definitely be there. And um, you guys can follow me down, write me on Twitter at uh, BlackAdam001. I'm there. I'll respond to your comments. Uh, again, thanks for the love. Um, yeah, guys. Nothing but love for you guys. Mad love. Until next week with another crazy episode of Comics Crossover. Yeah, guys. Have a good one. Take care. Peace.